Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Bresco, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Wednesday, August the 4th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Shenandoah Hefner, Ashby, and Mark Gilman. So without further ado, here is a birthday song for the two of you. Hey Mark, hey Shenandoah, hey, I heard it's your birthday today, so happy birthday, I must say, you know, you're uh, another year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey Shenandoah, hey Mark, hey, I heard it's your birthday today, so happy birthday, I must say. Well, that's another trip around the sun that you made, so happy birthday to you, I say. I said a happy birthday to you guys, say. Happy birthday and many, many, many more. All right. Well, all righty then. Got some Shin Show likes back on the old page. There's some Shin Show likers. And that would have to be Martin Kelly and Connie McClaney. And then we've got the Shin Show sharer, which would be Steve Clary, a.k.a. Doug Bell Bell. And then my pokey pal, Amanda Sue, oh, well, Amanda S. Little. She's growing up, folks. We don't do the Sue no more. All right. All righty then. Looks like a weather forecast brought to you today by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located at 2054 in Campus Drive here in St. Charles, Missouri at 63301. Pastored by ordained pastor John Schumer, and it's Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. We have our services on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and uh, an hour of power prayer on Wednesdays from 1:30 to 2:30 p.m. So don't forget to get over to Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Alrighty, well, alrighty then. Let's see where we're going now. How about that weather forecast? 83 degrees out there right now. That's about the, as high as it got today. It wasn't, wasn't too off high today, which was okay with me. I don't mind, you know, every now and again it getting warm enough and not too warm. But anyway, um, lower for the rest of the day, we got clear. Go to sleep. My, 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 uh, Voice activation kicked on. <laughs> anyway, um, for the uh, remainder of the day, we've got clear skies with low uh, temperatures around 62 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. And winds are going to be light and variable east to southeast at approximately 6 miles per hour. And then for Thursday, August the 5th, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny skies. Highs temperatures around 88 degrees Fahrenheit with winds from south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Considerable cloudiness with low temperatures around 69 degrees Fahrenheit overnight and winds will be light and variable. And then for Friday, August B6, cloudy skies early and then partly cloudy in the afternoon. High temperatures of 89 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then mostly clear skies overnight with the low temperatures around 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then how about Saturday, August the 7th. Mostly sunny skies, highs around 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies, low temperatures around 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds will be south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for our final, actually, you no, know, we got Sunday coming in there. Sunday, August the 8th, partly cloudy skies with afternoon showers and thunderstorms, highs around 93 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. Variable clouds with scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly overnight. 
Low temperatures around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. And then for our final day of our five day forecast, Monday, August the 9th. Mainly cloudy skies with a stray shower or thunderstorm possible. High temperatures around 96 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight with low temperatures around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds will be south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends... Finishes up your five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. And let's see. We're going to call that one brought to you by Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie is a very, uh, a very crafty type gal who can make whatever you want. I'm telling you, if you've got a special occasion coming up, she can make you wreaths. She can make you table settings. She can put it all together. You just give her an idea of what color arrangements you need, and it'll all be together just as pretty as you please. All right, it's seasonal wreaths by Jamie on Facebook. Now then, uh, what's going on around town? Oh. Don't forget, Missouri Bicentennial only happens every 200 years, folks. That's right. It only happens every 200 years, the Bicentennial. And that's be here in the state of Missouri, and it will be here at Missouri's first state capitol memorial site, or historical site, not memorial site, historical site at 200 South Main Street, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. That's right. Come on, come all, come on down and enjoy yourself at the first state, uh, at the first state capitol building for the special, spectacular 200 year birthday of the United States. I mean, 200 year birthday of the state of Missouri. 200 years. Yep, 2021 makes 200 years of incredible history, amazing achievements, wondrous landscapes, uh, fascinating people, and so much more. You are invited to this uh, signature statewide event at the place where our statehood began. That's right. I'm going to appreciate all the Show Me State has to offer. That's right, Memphis. The Bicentennial event's plans include a parade through the decades, community pic- picnic with uh, music and food, interactive displays and hands-on educational activities, historical reenactors, and encampments. Both uh, booths and activities, including uh, many community organizations and get your picture by our huge interactive birthday message and plain air art activities and bicentennial cake decorating competition. Now the event will be follow current CDC guidelines which means there should be plenty of room between you and everybody else for my wheelchair to fit through because if you're each maintaining six inches or six feet apart, that leaves a twelve foot gap. I mean, a, yeah, twelve foot gap for me to roll around in. So, I'll appreciate that. Thank you. And of course, we'll be wearing our masks so that nobody can see who we are or know who we are. So, and we won't get ourselves confused with anybody that's uh, some sort of a criminal or anything. Because, well, that's what the CDC says. Alright, anyway, hey, that being said, that's what's going on here in the St. Charles area. Alright, how about a song? Song gonna be brought to you nightmare. Oh, we're not going Steve Bell Bell. That's who that Doug Bell Bell or Steve Clary is who that song is gonna be brought to you today. I'm gonna do this song while my ex lived in Texas. 
It's a George Strait song, and he owns the rights. He owns the lyrics and all that junk. But I'm just going to sing it out once. But Doug Bellbell, Steve Clary, he is a real song stylist. So if you ever want to hear somebody play it up and do it right, check his page out, Steve Clary or Doug Bellbell. Both folks are the same guy. And he's an excellent singer. Well, all my exes live in Texas. And Texas is a place I dearly love to be. But all my exes live in Texas. And that's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. Rosanna down in Texarkana wanted me to push her broom. Sweet Eileen and Aveline, she forgot I hung the moon. And Allison in Galveston somehow lost her sanity. And Dimples, who now lives in Dimples, got the law looking for me. Well, all my exes live in Texas, and Texas is a place I dearly love to be. But all my exes live in Texas, and that's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. Play it, boys. Oh, my exes live in Texas, and therefore I hang my hat in Tennessee. Well, I remember that old Frio River when I learned to swim. But it brings to mind another time that I wore my welcome pin. And by transcendulation and meditation, I go there each night. But I always come back to myself long before daylight. Well, all my exes live in Texas. Mm, Texas is where I truly love to be, but all my exes live in Texas, and therefore I hang my hat in Tennessee. Some folks think I'm hiding, it's been rumored that I died in, but I've been I'm alive in Berlin. Tennessee, Tennessee. Ah, right, there you go. There you have it. All my exes. All right, we're going to do story and a story. A story we're going to do. Uh, today's story is going to be about Jasmine. Jasmine from Aladdin. Oh, Jasmine. Oh, ja Oh, Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. Yes. Deep in the A Arabian desert, Princess Jasmine lived with her father, the Sultan of Agrabar, and her tiger, Raja. Well, the Sultan, he said to Jasmine, must marry a prince, and soon. But Jasmine wanted to marry for love, not just to make her father happy. Well, in a nearby village, there lived a young man named Aladdin. His best friend was a little monkey called Abu. Well, Aladdin was poor, but he had big dreams, and some day he told Abu, we will live in that palace. Well, Jasmine refused to, marry, to be married, and so she disguised herself as a peasant and left home. Well, in the marketplace, she accidentally stole an apple a guard grabbed Jasmine by a... But Aladdin stepped in to protect her. Well, Aladdin took Jasmine to his home. As they talked, they 
discovered they each dreamed of living a life different than their own. I can run away. I ran away, and I'm not going back, said Jasmine. Then the palace guards burst in and seized Aladdin. Jasmine revealed herself as the princess and demanded that Aladdin be freed. To her shock, the guards refused. Aladdin was taken away anyway. And while locked in the palace dungeon, Aladdin met an old creepy man who helped him to escape. Well, the man took Aladdin and Abu to the Cave of Wonders, and he wanted Aladdin to retrieve a magic lamp hidden inside. Well, Aladdin and Abu found the lamp and a magic carpet, but as they left, the cave began to rumble and shake and, to and turn into molten lava. And, well, this was scary, particularly the fact that it was all Abu's fault for stealing, trying to steal a giant ruby. Anyway, at the entrance, the old man wouldn't help them. He was really the Sultan's evil assistant, Jafar. Well, though stuck in the cave, Abu had tricked Jafar and kept the magic lamp for Aladdin. And so, now, when Aladdin rubbed it, a genie whirled out of the lamp to rescue them from the cave and to grant Aladdin three wishes. Aladdin's first wish was to be a prince disguised as a wealthy prince visiting from another kingdom. Aladdin went to see Princess Jasmine once again. Now that night, Aladdin took Jasmine on a magic carpet ride that they would never forget. When flying over deserts, mountains, and seas, Jasmine and Aladdin discovered a whole new world together, of which they well, the the wonder and magic of the night brought them close to, closer together, and they were falling in love. Good night, my handsome prince whispered Jasmine at the end of their flight. And then Aladdin kissed her, and Aladdin was so happy he felt as if he was floating on air. But Jafar had an evil plan. He ordered his guards to throw Aladdin into the sea. But Aladdin used his second wish to have the genie rescue him. But then Jafar stole the magic limb. Now the genie had to serve Jafar, the evil and wicked. Sorry about that. Sorcerer. And the wicked sorcerer was holding Jasmine prisoner. As Aladdin sneaked into the palace to save her, Jasmine used her charms to distract Jafar. And Aladdin tricked Jafar into using one of his wishes. I wish to be an all-powerful genie, proclaimed Jafar. And when he did, he became an evil genie, and Aladdin trapped him inside a magic lamp for all time. Then the sultan told Jasmine that she could marry whoever she chose, and Prince Jasmine and Princess Jasmine chose to marry her own one true love, Aladdin. And then Aladdin used his final wish to free the genie forever. In a flash, the genie dis deserted, uh, dressed to travel the world. And that, my friends, was a short version of Aladdin in the Lamp about Jasmine. G -g 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 Jasmine. Jas uh, Jasmine. All right, and that was story time, and that was actually brought to you by Thankful Nests. That's right, Thankful Nests by Jamie Christopher. 
Thankfulness by Jamie Christopher is available at Amazon.com. So you can always go over there and get you a copy of Thankfulness. It's a wonderful, wonderful book about the adoption process. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Let's see. It looks like it's our daily bread portion of the program. And our daily bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you no, by none other than The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's uh, scriptures in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Psalms 66 through 67 and Romans 7. So don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Okay, today's daily bread portion of the program's title or devotion is called Not Forgotten. And we're going to be reading scriptures and insights is uh, Isaiah 4, no, Isaiah 49. 14 through 18. But Zion, said the Lord, has. But, but Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breasts and have no compassion on the child she has born? Well, though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are every, ever before me. Your children listen, your children hasten back, and those who laid you waste departed from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your children gathered and came to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them all as ornaments, and you will put them on like a bride. Well, there you go. That was Isaiah. 49, 14 through 18, which concludes the Shen Show for today. Got one more song for you. It goes like this. Hello, goodbye, my friend. It's a time to come. I said goodbye, my friend. It's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here Ben Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show and as always you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.